Hey everyone! Welcome back to Developer Maddie. In today's Excel tutorial, we're unlocking the power of cell referencing. You'll learn about absolute, relative, and mixed references with clear examples. Understanding these will help you build better formulas and save time when working with Excel spreadsheets. Let's get started! What is cell referencing? In Excel, cell referencing allows you to use data from other cells in formulas. It tells Excel where to look for data when performing calculations. There are three types of references, relative, absolute, and mixed. Let's break them down with examples. Relative references. A relative reference is the default reference type in Excel. When you copy a formula, Excel adjusts the reference based on the relative position of the formula. Click on cell D2, total. Type this formula, equals B2 asterisk C2. Price asterisk quantity. Press enter. Drag the formula down to fill the rest of the column. Excel updates references to B3 asterisk C3, B4 asterisk C4, and so on. Absolute references. An absolute reference locks a specific cell so it doesn't change when copied. You use a dollar sign dollar before the row and or column reference. Click on cell E2, total. Type this formula, equals B2 asterisk C2 asterisk 1D2, price asterisk quantity asterisk discount. Press enter. Drag the formula down to apply it to all rows. But look! The result is not correct. Why? Type this formula. Equals B2 asterisk C2 asterisk 1 dash dollar D dollar 2 dollar D dollar 2 stays fixed when copying the formula because of the dollar signs. Mixed references. Let's work with this data set. It includes the following columns. Product. Price. Quantity. Cash discount. Coupon discount. Final price. At the bottom, we have two fixed percentages. 10% for cash discount. 8% for coupon discount. To calculate the cash discount for the laptop, We'll multiply the price of the laptop, 500, with the cash discount rate, 10%, in cell D8. In cell D2, type this formula.
equals b2 asterisk d8. Press enter, and Excel will calculate the cash discount as 50. Next, let's drag this formula to the right into column E, coupon discount. But look, the result is not correct. Why? The formula in E2 is now referencing B2 asterisk E8. Since we didn't lock the row for the discount percentage, D8, Excel shifted it to the next column. Correcting the formula. Equals dollar B dollar 2 asterisk D8. Now drag it to the right, and the coupon discount will calculate correctly as 40. Next, let's drag both formulas, cash and coupon discounts, down for the other products. But again, we see an issue. In cell D2, change the formula to equals dollar B dollar 2 asterisk dollar D dollar 8. Now drag it to the right, and the coupon discount will calculate correctly as 40. Next, let's drag both formulas, cash and coupon discounts, down for the other products. But again, we see an issue. All the results are the same for each product. Why? The reference dollar B dollar 2 is fixed to the laptop's price. To calculate for the phone and tablet, we need to adjust the row reference for the price. To make the formula dynamic, let's modify it. We want the column B fixed for the price, so we use dollar B2. The row, 8, fixed for the discount percentages, so we use D$8. Update the formula in D22. Equals dollar B2 asterisk D$8. Now drag this formula to the right, coupon discount, and down for all products. Excel will calculate everything correctly.
Finally, let's calculate the final price for each product. The formula is equals price cash discount coupon discount in F2 type. equals dollar b2 d2 e2 drag it down to get the final prices for all products You'll see. Laptop, 410. Phone, 246. Tablet, 164. This demonstration showed you how to use mixed references in Excel to adjust formulas dynamically while dragging them across rows and columns. Mastering mixed references will make your formulas more powerful and save time when working with large datasets. Pro tips and common errors. Here are some quick tips. Use F4 while typing a formula to toggle through reference types. Double check references when copying formulas to avoid calculation errors. And that's it for today's tutorial on Excel cell referencing. I hope this cleared up any confusion about absolute, relative, and mixed references. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.